Hi, welcome to my channel, Takayaki Tarot. Today is May 23rd, 2024. Thursday, May 23rd, 2024. So, before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If they resonate with you and gives you clarity, great. If it does not, then don't force it to be a story. So... Uh, today I'm going to do a different kind of reading. I'm going to do a love reading. Or like a romance reading. I feel like it should be called like readings of romance. That feels like very soap opera-y but it feels correct. Readings of romance. So, I know I talked about doing love readings, um, like, all week, and I just, like, more, I don't know, I just didn't do them. Um, also because I had to wait for, like, a couple of the decks to come in, and they're finally here. So, now I can't do them. So... I'll start off with this deck. thinker the worker the worker so you could be working very hard at something you could be working at yourself working on yourself working in a job in a business on your family your environment something about your garden you could be working on your garden or tending your garden I'm gonna read the card in a second you gotta give me a second though Okay, uh, there's also beehives here, something about honey and grapes and roses and sunshine and sunflowers, very, very sweet and I wouldn't call grapes like savory, but I'm not really getting the grapes here, I'm getting the wine that's made from the grapes so we've got sweet like honey the bees um, and then wine roses so this is you see like the beehives and then the sunflowers and then like the roses the sunshine and the grapes so you could be working hard tending to your garden um, tending to yourself doing what you have to do and somebody wants to come in with like wine and roses and be sweet as honey to you. Is that a crane in the background? I just noticed that. That's a, I think that's a crane right here. That bird. Let me, um, she's got a scythe. So, scythes are usually carried by Grim Reapers, and it's kind of like to collect something, to collect the souls. So, you could be like collecting some sort of harvest that you worked hard to tend to. Um, give me one second, hold on.
Oh. Uh, it's not what I mean. What is that? Uh, I just. So cranes carry the souls of the departed to the afterlife, and she's got a scythe. Grim Reapers usually carry souls. They use it to collect the souls. And you're collecting some sort of harvest. So I feel like you could be... As you're tending to the garden, you're getting rid of things that are is like, like weeds. You're collecting the weeds from your garden. They don't have space in your garden. Establishing a connection. Not only can cranes live a long life, but they are also believed to carry the souls of the departed to the afterlife. You could also have, like, departed loved ones, friends, family members, even departed people that you don't even know, but they were just, like, assigned to, like, watch over you and things like that. That happens. But anyways, so you could have departed loved ones around you, watching over you, making sure that what you collect is yours to collect what you making sure that you get your your daily harvest or your harvest like your whatever hard work that you've been putting into that make sure making sure that you get it somebody wants to see you happy this could be your person that's thinking about you or whoever you're thinking about Somebody sees you as like a ball of sunshine because we got the sunshine here. It's shining. It's got a luminous light glow around it. Then we've got bees and honey and then we have sunflowers. So someone thinks you're like as sweet as honey and as happy as the golden sun. They want to come in and romance and wine and dine you. Or you could do this to somebody or you want to do this to somebody. So you could be like a divine masculine. You want a divine or... You want to wine and dine a divine feminine or you're a divine feminine and you want to wine and dine. It doesn't matter who's whining and who's dining, <laughs> but somebody wants to wine and dine somebody, okay? All right, let me move on. The worker. Face being alone. Once you stop fearing it and know you can, you may not have to. So yeah, I feel like right now is the time where you're just kind of like buying by yourself and just like reaping the harvest reaping the harvest that's that's why she's got the scythe get it because of the grim reaper and i kept talking about the harvest and usually grim reapers they have scythes to collect they reap the souls so it's like symbolism of you're reaping the harvest by just doing whatever you have to do it's you're seeing um progress right in your harvest face being alone once you stop fearing it and know you can you may not have to so yeah you're just basically in this time of like being by yourself or being alone or being isolated or being separated. All right. It's kind of like important for, <laughs> I'm hearing like your character development. <laughs> though it may not, wait, though it may be hard to do, act like there's no love for you. Concentrate and do work hard and learn love's lessons from the cards. Such independence may attract the kind of love you think you lack. So I feel like another thing for another reason why you're just kind of like in this work mode reaping the harvest blah, blah blah somebody is watching you in this energy just work 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 right and i'm not talking about like you got to be in this work energy so that's not, that's a whole different thing because i'm not even talking about that i'm saying whatever work that you're doing on yourself for yourself for your harvest reaping the harvest whatever work that you've been putting into yourself it's not going unnoticed and it's kind of like in a way that's the love that you're putting inside of yourself obviously and someone is realizing, someone is seeing that. This could be your person, like um, your divine partner. Or somebody who's like on their way to becoming a divine person. In order to be a proper match for you. Concentrate and do work hard and learn love's lessons from the cards. Such independence may attract the kind of love you think you lack. So this person is going to come in when you least expect it. Such independence may attract the kind of love you think you lacked. Lack. Learn love's lessons. Though it may be hard to do, act like there's no love for you. So you could have had, at one point, had love on the brain. Uh, constantly thinking about love and romance, love and romance. And it's just like, I feel like 
you being in that energy, it wasn't really, you can't, you plant a seed, you can't, no matter how much you stare at it, it's not going to grow any faster. That seed, I just saw 121, that seed is going to grow when that seed is ready to grow, when it's ready to sprout, when it's ready to bloom. This could be like a love blossoming, a love blooming. Your person is ready to come in and start a love <laughs> with you. So if you were doing that before and now you're not thinking about love, 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 such independence may attract the kind of love you think you lack. So if you stopped thinking about love because you're just like, well, I'm never going to find my divine partner. I'm never going to, it's not going to happen, blah, blah, blah. I feel like that was just kind of like God's way to trick you into like, just, just stop thinking about it, right? You planted the seed, the seed in yourself, that love is there. You just like, no matter how much you stare at it, it's not going to sprout. You know, you got to give it time. You got to wait. Focus on other things like yourself, your business, your job, your environment, your family, your yourself whatever focus on something else don't look at that seed because that seed is going to sprout when it's ready to sprout not when you're looking at it and i feel like that's where such independence may attract the kind of love you think you lack all right it's there you probably just thought well it's never going to happen i'm just going to stop focus on it that's the trick you're not supposed to focus on it you're supposed to focus on other things so when it comes you're more prepared it's like either you're being there's something about character development you're being prepared for a divine match or somebody is being prepared for a divine match it's like there's two people that are being prepared to be on the same wavelength vibration all right so that's that now we can move on i'm just trying to figure out which deck to use I'm going to get one of these. My nails are long, so it takes a s second extra for me to shuffle the cards. Jeez. All these cards are falling. <laughs> this card says, Heart's Desire. Sing along to your heart's song, for it knows what you truly want. So, someone's hard work is about to pay off in the terms of love. Oh my god. Let's see, I just need like one. Learning secrets. Stay open-minded and receptive as you uncover hidden truths and embrace the lessons they offer. So somebody could be coming in and teaching you or telling you something important. Stay open-minded and receptive as you uncover hidden truths and embrace the lessons they offer. So there's two messages about lessons here and this card it says concentrate and do work hard and learn love's lessons from the cards and this one says embrace the lessons they offer so somebody and then the worker the worker learning secrets I 
feel like whoever comes to you, whoever this like divine person is, or whoever your match is, this person, they have a lot to teach you. And one of the, I keep hearing character development. So maybe you were a person before who you didn't take criticism or you were not open-minded or you thought you knew everything or you just knew the way or had all the answers. And throughout your personal character development, you realize that none of that's true. So now the person that's coming in, you're more open to receiving and learning and growing and accepting so this person is going to come in and they're going to teach you probably things about yourself, things about the world, things about uh, spirituality, things about <laughs> love. Learning secrets. But basically, you're going to have to listen. And I feel like with this whole character development that you've gone through or that you are going through, you're going to be in a much better position where you can actually listen to what's being said to you. And it's not you're not listening to respond. You're listening to kind of like acknowledge and take it in. All right. I'm going to jump into some tarot now. The Worker Learning Secrets. Here's the thing, too, I want to say. You're going to be learning secrets that are... They don't seem like they're secrets, but they are. They are. Um, it's like... this uh, Secrets of life or love. Just... I, I don't know. They're, they're very, very simple things. They're... I keep hearing, like, keys. And with that sunshine, it's like you're going to be unlocking some sort of happiness together or within yourself. Either you're going to see this person as a key to happiness or this person sees you as a key to happiness. Somebody is a divine person, divine masculine or divine feminine. And another person is not so yet divine, but it's kind of like... They're not karmic either. They're in the middle, but they're like more towards... So let's say this is like a, a scale, right? Like the spectrum. This would be like divine, and this would be like karmic. They're more like over here. You know, like they're not exactly karmic, but they're not exactly divine. But they're a lot farther away from karmic. So because of your personal character development that you're doing, you could be inspiring this person to move towards more of the light. So this person could see you as the key to like this happiness with like this honey and this illuminated sunshine and the sunflowers. You see? There's like the honey hives, the beehives, the sunflowers on the bottom, and then like at the top here, this illuminated sun. So by you doing the work for yourself and like just doing what you got to do, it's kind of like inspiring. But here's the thing too. This person also has things to teach you just as you have things to teach them as well. Judgment reverse. Hmm. I feel like this is someone like in some sort of like self-loathing. 
Or like they don't think highly of themselves. So maybe this person, you're, they, they don't feel good enough for you? What was that? The tower. Judgment reverse. The tower. There's a massive change happening. So far we have, what, well, we have Libra and Scorpio? in majors you could also be just <clears throat> not you directly but just like your energy your aura your example like the way you live life or present yourself to the world is like giving this person an example to like change things for themselves of themselves it could also be changing the way they feel about themselves or inspiring them to change the way they feel about themselves or see themselves keep getting there's someone in the background I don't know if this is you or your person but there's someone in the background that they don't make good decisions like they don't they don't make good decisions there's someone in the background that doesn't I don't know this could be someone around your person or someone around you or someone is hoping that your person doesn't make the right decision or the good decision or they're hoping that you don't make the right or the good decision when it comes to like partnering up together there's something about a soul tie four of pentacles reverse Six of Swords Reverse. So you could be showing this person how to let go of things. There's someone who doesn't want to let go of the past. Four of Pentacles reverse on top of a tower. You're teaching someone or you're watching or someone is watching someone let go of things to create, to bring in change, to bring in tower moments, to like, basically, you could be inspiring someone, you walking around with your scythe and cutting things down and letting things go, right? That's creating change. It's, you're like basically clearing out the weeds in your garden and now that all those weeds are gone, those dead flowers, those dead roots dead roots or something about dead roots but all those dead roots are gone now you can like till the soil and plant new seeds and watch it bloom and sprout and grow you by you letting things go and cutting things out you're inspiring your person to do the same thing but there's somebody it could be the person either around you or the person around your person that wants to hold on to the past and is hoping that someone's going to make the wrong decision and not come together with you or make hopefully or hoping that you don't come together with your person there's someone like um who like hates love or just like is jealous or bitter that two people are like meant to be together are coming together and then you have someone so let's say you have like there's like these two people right that are meant to be together meant to uh, whatever you have someone around them hovering so you have like a person that's hovering around you and your person kind of like 
trying to throw darts of like miscommunication or misjudgment and just shit like that hoping that two you and your person or these two people don't come together and make like the wrong decision and, and just be like well nope not this one all right but I feel like your person is more and more and more towards the light than like ever before so I feel like that's all this person is gonna be just in the background but I feel like this person, they, they really want to, like, be known or, like, make themselves have, like, a, a place in this couple's relationship or you and your person's, like, <laughs> romantic adventure or, like, there's always, like, in, like, almost every romance novel, there's always, like, that villain, right? It's like this person wants to be the villain and some sort of romantic endeavor and like they, they want to be known as the villain I just saw 26-6 that is too funny that is too funny alright let me um keep going <laughs> it's biscuits <laughs> Five of Wands. Five of Wands. So every time I f I I get the Five of Wands, like it's like supposed to be like conflict and drama and things like that. But for some reason, every time I get the Five of Wands, I always imagine it as like two or more people bickering with each other. I don't know why like just constantly going back and forth back and forth you're like arguing back and forth so this villain right I'm sorry rose quartz that <laughs> you're the villain in my um my reading right now that's I'm sorry <laughs> somebody is like there's like this person that's hovering around this citrine and tourmaline <laughs> That they could want your you and your person to constantly bicker back and forth, back and forth. To the point where it's just like, well, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to be with you. You're not the one for me, right? Well, there's something about absence makes the heart grow fonder. So, and let's say you and your person argue and then you separate for some time. Absence makes the heart grows fonder because if you're not talking, then you end up missing each other. And then I feel like, if anything, this is just doing you and your person a favor. That's very simple. So, like, if this person is, like, doing some weird whatever in the background. Oh, argue, get into arguments, get into fights, blah, 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 right? You guys would like separate or bicker and then you just end up missing each other right the distance between the two of you the non-communication it just makes you miss your person even more my um my ear it feels like it's clogged or something Oh, it just, it's its better now. It just opened up. You know how, like, when you go swimming and you have, like, water in your ears and, like, your ear gets, like, all clogged and, like, when the, when the water, like, drains, it, like, clears up. Or, like, when you're in an airplane, your ears, like, get muffled and, like, when you hit a certain altitude, your ears pop again. It's, like, my ear, I think it was just water because, like, I showered earlier. <laughs> I showered. <laughs> but, yeah, it was just water. You're going to be, um, with the learning secrets, there's something that you're going to be learning that's going to, like, make things clear for you. Or your person is going to be hearing something or learning something. I'm telling you, it's like a, it's a secret, but it's not, it's, it doesn't come off as a secret. Like, it just comes off as, like, everyday information or, I just saw 3003, or, like, everyday, just 
conversations, whatever, but there's something that you're going to hear that's just going to, like, like, make your ears pop as if, like, wow, okay, right? It's like, it's like that. Oh, my stomach hurts now. This person, this wannabe villain that is around you and your person, they're nervous about something. Because it's they, they can't control a dynamic or a situation. Or they can't keep you and your person apart. They can't keep two person two people apart. There's like it's like you know that saying like two peas in a pod? It's like that's you and your person. This person's trying to squeeze in there. Like, no, it's two peas in a pod, not three peas in a pod. Nine of Cups reverse. Queen of Pentacles upright. So I feel like you could be in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Feeling two of swords or upright. The emperor reverse. Get out of here. So, anyways, I feel like you could be in this Queen of uh, Pentacles energy, just kind of like focusing on your finances, your stability, working on your resources. You know, being in this the worker energy. That's that's you. Just doing what you got to do, tending to your field, um, character development, working on yourself. Right, but it's like you're doing all this work, but there's still that one thing that's missing, which is why for a while or even now you could be in the nine of cups reverse, like feeling like that that love or that special person is not around. But here's the kicker, they are around, they're here. Right? You just got this hating ass I just heard hating ass hoe. You just have this person that's around the two of you like very bitter and hoping that like the two of you just don't connect but that's not that's that's not gonna happen you're, you're gonna connect it's like it's it's closer than ever before it's here it's it's here but I feel like you shouldn't exactly he not just just keep focusing on like your Queen of Pentacles energy the worker energy you're, you're definitely going to hear something that's going to be like, oh my gosh, really? But it's not supposed to be like, like I don't know, it's not going to like, it's not supposed to make you scared or anything. If anything, it's just supposed to like, enlighten you on who your person really is, or vice versa. This is going to enlighten your person on who you really are. Yeah, I feel like you being in this Queen of Pentacles energy, it's kind of like you're doing all this work, but like, where's where's my person? Where's my love, right? They're here. They're here. Or your person could be asking like, where's my Divine Feminine at? Where's my Divine Feminine at, right? Your Divine Feminine is here. Wow. So by you letting things go to bring in change, this is going to... I also... Here's the thing too. I'm also getting... 
Because the Four of Pentacles reverses here, right? But if you were in the Four of Pentacles upright, just holding on to things, holding, 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 holding on to things, it's kind of like you just learned to just let it all go. Just let it go. So essentially, you're going from holding on to like the little four coins that you have, and because of all the character development and letting go and bringing in change and allowing change and accepting change, you're going into the Ten of Pentacles. You can't get any higher than the Ten of Pentacles. This could be like generational wealth, a, a, a family, a very successful family lineage or a very successful family dynamic. You're going to be like comfortable, financially secure because you're also in that Queen of Pentacles, the worker energy. Financially... <laughs> materialistically generationally you're going to be fine you're going to be set this is what's coming in for you this is what's going to be between you and your person you know what I have to see something because I keep hearing citrine and tourmaline and I know oh, hold on Is that tourmaline? That's not tourmaline. Why do I keep hearing tourmaline though? So, citrine, this is citrine. Apparently this is not tourmaline. But I'm, I thought it was tourmaline. Anyways. But I keep hearing tourmaline. So, citrine is the... Uh, birthstone for the month of November and tourmaline is the newer it says right here it's tourmaline is the newer October birthstone is it tourmaline So, your person could either be born in October, November, or somewhere like in the fall. Like something, I just got really, really dizzy. Something's going to like happen in the fall. Like um, something's going to bloom in the fall. Because I'm also seeing like, are hearing pumpkins now too? Or you could have met this person in the fall. Like in the autumnal season. It's raining outside right now. I feel like there's a piece of hair like somewhere around here and I don't even know where it's at. You know, there's, you know, like in those romantic movies where like the two people after like a certain amount of distance or like a certain argument, whatever, they're like, I'm sorry. And it's like raining outside. And then like they end up like kissing and making up in the rain. That's what I'm seeing right now. So if you and your person got into like some sort of bickering or argument or whatever, that's just, I don't, I don't know, I keep hearing absence makes the heart grow fonder. And if this was an argument caused by someone else, like if someone was, I don't know, just being weird around you and your person and then making sure that you and your person argue, they kind of just did you and your person a favor because that's just making you guys closer or making you miss your person more or your person miss you more what is that smell was that like garbage or something
Is that weed? Someone could smoke a lot or like this person just feels like very airy or lightheaded or light around you or you feel this way around your person or you're the one that smokes. King of Pentacles on the fence. The Queen of Pentacles was on the bottom of the deck upright and now the King of Pentacles is on the fence. So there's a King of Pentacles on the fence. It could be a... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be the person that is around you and your person that's like not happy about the two of you like coming together or like, I don't know. It's like that. This King of Pentacles on the fence. So there could be a King of Pentacles on the fence around you not like unhappy and miserable because they can't come towards you and this could also be another or the same person whatever there's also a king of pentacles on the fence about like trying to do something energetically with you and your person making sure that you guys are always bickering and arguing and this and that and la 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 it's like if this person can't be happy with you, they're going to make sure that you and your person are not happy together. But it's like you're just doing, this King of Pentacles on the fence is just doing you and your person a favor. This could also be your King of Pentacles on the fence is because it's like if you guys had an argument or some sort of bickering, now the two of you are at some sort of like odds or distance and now this person is just like miserable without their love, which would be you. I don't mean to laugh at that. It's just like, go talk to your person, right? That's just, just go up and talk to your person. Like, if this is your divine feminine, like, stop being miserable and stop arguing and just go talk to them. Or this is like, um, your divine feminine and, or, you know, your divine masculine. You're just like, you want to go talk to them, go talk to them. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. There's a King of Pentacles that feels stuck without you, or without being in communication with you, not being able to like get close to you. I'm also getting that if there is this king of pentacles that feels like they can't get close to you they're gonna make sure that no one else can get close to you that's that's that wannabe villain Five of Swords upright on the tower. Somebody does not like this change that you're going through, Divine Feminine. They don't like the change that you're inspiring, the change that you're bringing about. It could be this King of Pentacles on the fence. There's nothing they can do about you going into this Ten of Pentacles energy. There's nothing they can do about you letting them go. There's nothing they can do about this change that's bringing this reaping of the weeds, right? There's nothing that they can do about this. And they hate it. They don't like it. Especially because if it's not involving them, it has nothing to do with them. If they can't be in this Ten of Pentacles, the Tower energy with you, of course they don't like it. 
And especially if this is bringing in what needs to be brought in for you and your divine person to be together, of course they're not going to like it. Someone is like really mad. They're also being petty or they want to be petty. But that's not going to do anything. If anything, that's just going to like make things worse for them. There's something about someone's pettiness and you learning secrets. It's like the more... S <sighs> How can I explain this? I see... Whoa, well, okay collective you could see someone's actions as like a signature you know how like when you send a text message or an email and at the bottom of it there's like a their signature like so and so from whatever whatever or, or like a cute little emoji or whatever right someone's pettiness is leaving some sort of signature or like you can see you're, it's like um, you're learning ah. ah. alright like if someone is petty towards me immediately I'm learning secrets about them I don't know how so you could like if someone is trying to be petty or vindictive it's kind of like just leaving a signature of information I don't even know how to like phrase that Well, I guess the whole point of me saying that is... I knew it! Hi! Hi, my baby. The more someone is being petty, the easier it is for you to see where it's coming from and who's being petty. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. Hold on, I don't want her face to be in there. And it's like... This wannabe villain thinks that they're hiding they're not hiding because it's like whoever this wannabe villain is the more petty the more vindictive the more narcissistic they are it's just like leaving their signature and that's what the whole learning secret you're learning who the real villain is and your person could also be learning who the real villain is as well all right that's that's what i'm that's what i was trying to say so it's like if there's if the same person is around you and the person that you're supposed to be with and this person is like doing weird things with your energy and your person's energy and being vindictive and being petty and trying to cause arguments and bickering and fights you are noticing where it's actually coming from your person is actually noticing where it's coming from it's coming from the same person right it's like this person is like leaving their signature behind every time they're being petty or they take some sort of like false action or they do something with the energy <laughs> you, does that make sense hi my baby hi huh? what's going on how can i help you are you hungry you want to eat I'm going to give her a second. She just woke up. So, yeah. So, this could be a masculine, uh, a karmic masculine uh, that is around your divine feminine. And that same karmic masculine is around this divine masculine or this... But here's, like I said, one of these people out of the pair is a little bit more divine than the other and I'm not saying like that in a bad way I'm just saying the person that is not they're they're practically there they're they're getting there right it's like the both of you are being 
you're, you're like it's like that it's like your person or you is just right there to be able to be a perfect vibrational match and then you guys are going to be like hooray hooray victory victory right it's like that all right so now i'm going to yes my love <laughs> all right hold on I'm back. Let me finish this real quick so I can make her some breakfast. You are so different from everyone around me. That's the one on the bottom of the t this deck. So you know that this person, you and your person know that it's you guys are not like. Average Janes or Joes. Your person knows that you're not like the others, and you know that your person is not like the others, alright? But I feel like the person that wants to wine and dine you is because they feel like they, they just know that you're just not like other people. So this is like one of the three decks that I was waiting to come in before I do like a love reading. And they're here. Oh, I gotta do another reading too. Wamp, 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 wamp. I feel like okay so I'm gonna close these out with a bunch of cards from here maybe like I'll get like six to eight but the thing is I don't feel like these messages are gonna be from either you to your person or your person to you I feel like these messages are going to be from this King of Pentacles that's on the fence. That is between you and your person. <laughs> Bye. Do you need help? Okay. Baby, because I don't, that one's not in there. It's in the case. Mommy's got to go get the case. Why do I feel so lost? Well, because maybe if you stop being petty and stop trying to get involved in other people's love affairs, then you wouldn't be so lost, right? I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. So, the person that can't be around you, they're being petty because they can't be around you. So they're doing things between you and your person. Your person says, I don't want to be who I used to be, you deserve better. So they're trying to stray more and more towards the light. And you're going to be noticing this because your person is actually the one that's trying to also work on their character development, right? Right? The person that's being petty, they're just being petty because they don't know what they're doing in their lives. They don't they don't know what's going on.
I am scared of rejection. Someone, you're, the person, the wannabe villain that is between you and your person, the wannabe villain is trying to psych out your person from like coming towards you or getting, or matching up with you or pairing up with you. But here's the thing, as your person, by, and one of the ways that they're trying to do that is by getting to like your person to like not like themselves or feel low about themselves or like feel like they're not good enough and blah, 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 right? But as your person gets more and more and more towards the light, it's like, it's not the whole I'm scared of rejection thing. That's going to be like, okay, so if I get rejected, then I get rejected, right? Versus before, they were so scared of this rejection by how they felt about themselves, by how they viewed themselves and how they, you know, treated themselves. They wouldn't dare to come towards you. But as they're going through this character development, they're just like, you know, let me just take that leap of faith, right? It says, I need to figure myself out in reverse. So whoever the villain is that is between you and your person, like I said, they were making sure that your person would stay in like this low vibrational negative energy about themselves where it's like they're, they're not going to change who they are. They're not going to change how they feel about themselves. They're just going to be very negative, neglectful, low vibrational, miserable, and then you know, not wanting to change to the point where like they know they're not good enough, so there's no reason for them to come towards you. And if they come towards you in that way, in that low vibrational state, they're for sure going to get rejected. So whoever this villain was, it was like they were making sure that your person would stay that way. They're not worthy of coming towards you. But again, they're going towards the light more and more and more each day. So it's going to be like when the two of you get together, you're more like on a vibrational match. When you get together, you're going to be like in this Ten of Pentacles energy. All right. So that's four. Let me get like two. Two to four more. Ugh. feel like whoever this petty king of pentacles on the fence is that person they got rejected by you so now they want to come towards your person and be like are you sure are you sure or like they're not easy to please or like they're out of your league or you need to do this or you need to do that and your person's like oh yeah you're right you're right i'm not i'm not good enough i'm not right but they're not like that anymore oh ah one two three four i got four all right great I feel lonely. I feel lonely came out. But it came out and then we Hold on. <laughs> she said, help, help, help. And I'm like, what's going on? She goes, my shoe. <laughs> she just couldn't get her like the strap over her heel oh my god this kid is so funny um i feel lonely reverse why do i feel so long so this king of pentacles on the fence they are they know that if you and your person like get together they're gonna be because like i said it's two peas in a pot right it's just you and your person it's not three peas in a pot it's not three is a crowd it's not three's company it's not this person, they know, like, if they're around you and they're around your person, that's different because it's like, it's the three of you or like, they could be around you, they could be around your person. It's like, they have that, that spot, that, that place still, but it's like, if you and your person get together, it's going to kind of leave this person out in the open by themselves and like. They can't go on dates with you and your person. They can't live with you and your person. They can't have a child with you and your person. They can't, like, cuddle and canoodle with you and your person. They can't. It's This person, one of the reasons why they're just making sure that you and your person don't get together is because if you and your person get together, they're going to feel lonely. They're going to be left out in the cold. They're going to be lost. They're... They're not going to like know where to go. They're not going to know their place. So I feel like that's one of the reasons why the same person that's around you and your person is being petty with the energy. Making sure that the two of you don't get together. It's basically to secure their position 
within the family or the friendship or the work or whatever dynamic it is between you and your person. It's just to make sure that they will never have to be alone. I know it's really messed up because a lot of people be doing that. Making sure that two people don't get together just so they don't have to be by themselves. Right? It's like, well, if I'm going to be by myself, we're all going to be by ourselves. I wish I could fully be honest with you. Please do what is best for your heart. I was hurt by you. So the person that got rejected by you felt hurt by you. Please do what is best for your heart. This person could be in your face like cheering you on. I wish I could be fully honest with you. But they're also in your energy making sure that you and your perfect match do not come together. And this is the same exact person that's in your person's face. Yeah, I, I'm cheering for you. You know, I'm doing what's best for you. I, whatever you want to do, like I have your back. But they're also in your person's energy doing five of wands stuff, right? Being petty with the energy with the five of swords and five of wands. And it's like they've done it so much or they do it so much to the point where it's now leaving like a signature or like a trail. Oof. Look, I feel lonely. There's this one. Uh, it's called a snoo snoo. And I, I feel like I channeled this animal before. There is this animal in Avatar The Last Airbender, not not the movies, the cartoon. There is this animal, this girl, she's like a she's like a bounty hunter, and she has this animal called a snoo snoo. And he's blind. But the thing is that this is a very, very, very powerful animal that is a that's a tracker. It's a very powerful tracker. And all this animal has to do is just smell an article of clothing from like the person that she's trying to hunt down. And the animal can see the scent trail. Like, it literally can see the scent trail. And it doesn't matter how far the person is. It doesn't matter, you know, how, whatever. The animal is going to find it. And I feel like it's gotten to the point where this person is now leaving, like, a visible trail. Like, a visible signature. Every time they do this five of wands, five of swords things between you and your person. You're seeing it and your person is seeing it. It is not going unnoticed. Alright, so this is your love reading. Maybe I should get a couple more cards. I want to see how far this reading can go. What time is it? Okay. Someone said you worry so much. See? All right, I'm gonna do these for you, collective. So we did them for um, the wannabe villain, and then we did them for your person. I wanna see what comes out for you. I'm trying my best to forgive. So I feel like despite what this person is doing between you and your person, you're trying to forgive them. Which is good. At least you're trying. Right, Collective? So. This person could have also done something to you that made you want to reject them or... Like, if you rejected this person and they're doing all of this out of spite with that Five of Swords energy, and now they're causing, like, drama and chaos around you because of the fact that you rejected them, I feel like you should still try and forgive them anyways because it's like, they're just, I'm not excusing their behavior, but it's just like, you don't have time to hold on to, like, anger or resentment. Not like this person. This person is wasting their energy by acting this way and doing these things things towards you and your person they're just hurting themselves in the long run you don't have time to like I won't forgive you and you did this and you did no but you did this I'm gonna try my best to forgive you 
Oh, okay. Because you don't have time to be, right? You're you're too busy working on your character development. Your person is too busy working on their character development. And you got bigger and better fish to fry. I can feel you. I'm sorry for not contacting you. I feel like if you and your person are in some sort of, like, distance or, like, an argument or whatever, you can still feel your person. Like, you guys are still connected in somehow, some way, whether it's, like, emotionally, telepathically, spiritually, blah, 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 blah. And it says, I'm sorry for not contacting you. So, like I said, if there was, like, some sort of argument or disagreement or whatever, absence makes a heart grow fonder. Um, and you could just feel bad for, like, letting this petty argument or whatever this thing, you know, make you dig into your pride and not reach out to them. I think that is so funny. I'm sorry for not contacting you. I can feel you. Yeah, this is a strong connection. This is a very strong connection. It's weirdly strong how... Or weirdly powerful how strong this is. I guess it was, it, it's not weird considering how this works or like the purpose of this connection. I guess it's not weird. But... It's very interesting how even across distances your person can feel you and you can feel your person, you know. That's 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 a powerful connection. You could also be feeling how your person feels or hear how they feel. I don't know how to explain that. You ever just hear how someone feels? You just know how they feel. You could just hear it. It's like a silent cry or like a silent yell or a silent laugh or a silent leap of joy you know you just feel it but you can hear when someone's heart is happy I don't know anyway so this is a reading Hope House if you want a personal reading email me alright bye